There's just something about watching laser engraving in action and thanks to my son for whistling the tune to Steamboat Willie. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. And as you saw in this video, we are looking at an at-home laser engraver. How cool is that? It's a Laser Packer 2. This video, we're really gonna give you a quick overview of what this does, and we will put out some subsequent videos on the individual parts of the laser engraver. But you know what? Enough talk, let's get right into this review. Here we have our Laser Packer 2 Deluxe. So when I say Deluxe, that means this comes with an extra battery pack and the electric roller. The battery pack allows this to become more portable, moving it around, not having to have it plugged in. And of course, the electric roller, that allows you to laser engrave onto things that are round, such as cups, mugs, and tumblers. Let's open up our Laser Packer 2 and get started. First and foremost, I really do appreciate this carrying case. It makes everything in here safe and secure, plus it's easier to tote it around. We have unboxed most of our engraver, and of course you see the unit itself. This is what the battery pack actually looks like, so it's just a small unit, makes it easy for portability. You can see in the back though, we have some of our very own protective goggles, and of course they already included the laser shield here. There are a variety of plugs, USB, and power supplies. Plus, I thought this was cool. They actually included two different products that you can practice laser engraving on. You have wood and then a dog tag. That's pretty neat. So here's our battery pack. I just pushed the button on the front here and you can see that we have two out of four lights lit up. So that means about half full on our battery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in utilizing the included USB-C port just so I can um, charge this up. Let's set this aside and take a look at our Laser Packer 2 specifically. Our unit arrived already connected to its stand, but let me show you what some of these things on the stand actually mean. All right, so we have a button here that's an up arrow, and this is a rise of the unit, so your actual engraver will rise up. If you push and hold, it'll rise up continuously, but if you just hit it once, it goes up at about one millimeter per press. Of course, the same thing here. This is just the down version, but the controls are the same. In the middle right here, you just have a power indicator letting you know that the unit is on. On the back, we just have a few different power ports. This power port right here is actually for the electric stand. So with the included USB, you're going to plug this in here and then plug the other end right in down here. Then our very next power point or next um, USB port here is actually for the power shield. So this shield can be removed. But you can see this USB is, is already connected and that goes in here. This area lets you connect it to a computer and this powers your laser engraver itself. On the top, you see this button right here. That's actually the preview button. And what that's actually gonna do is it's gonna shine down a light on the area where you're going to engrave. So you know exactly where this thing is going to engrave. You also have a laser unit indicator one. That's right here. Unit indicator two is right here. And of course this on this side is our power switch. You actually press and hold it to power it off or to cancel a current engraving. Now that we have this plugged in, I want to show you the stand functions. Remember when I said if I push this once, it'll raise it by one millimeter. The same thing if I push it once down, it'll lower it by one millimeter. Now, if I push and hold, it'll raise up the entire unit all the way to the top. And of course, if I want to bring it all the way back down and just push and hold the down button. It's important to note, if you want to stop it at any time as it's going down, you just push the button again and it stops it. Now that we've stopped it, I want to show you that you can actually remove the protective cover here. And all you do is you pull forward and it releases from your unit. Now, they do say you can use this without the protective cover, but they always recommend making sure you have eye protection on. It's always important to protect your This just has three tabs that it aligns in to go right back into place. All right, so this is an app enabled unit. So I'm gonna get my phone out, set up the app, and we're gonna start engraving. The first thing that you do when you're laser engraving any project is make sure you're at the right height. This unit tells us that we are to be only as tall as 110 millimeters or 11 centimeters. You can see that's right here. And of course we are way too tall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the, the height to bring it down to 11. So of course, like I just reiterate that point, the directions tell us no taller than 11 centimeters or 110 millimeters on anything that you're engraving. I do wanna say that the laser shield is already pre-measured to be at 11 centimeters, that's pretty cool. So if you're laser engraving anything flat like this, you're already at the height that you need to be. It goes without saying though, if it's bigger or maybe if it's a cup or a glass, you can't really utilize the shield because the height might be 
at a different level. Now let's actually start our laser engraving. You see we have the app open at the very top. It says click here to connect your LP. Let's click on that. Of course, it's scanning any local devices. Of course, we see the one there. As soon as it stops spinning, I'm gonna select that one. We're ready to go. It's connected. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a quick print just to see what this looks like, or I shouldn't say print, a laser engraving just to see what this looks like. Let's click album, we'll pick a picture, let's hit completed, and there, of course, it's the Jeff reviews for you. I'm gonna leave all these settings just like they are. Let's hit next. Now, this tells us about our size. I'm gonna do just 75 millimeter, there we go. And of course, it does the same thing for the height and the width just on this one, just because the picture is square. I'm not going to name it, but let's start the preview. Yes, we are safe. All right, so do you see where that square is? That's showing me exactly where this is going to be laser engraved. So if I did not like that, I can actually adjust my base to slide things if I wanted to. So I just moved it a little bit. Right now, I'm not looking for perfect because I'm just doing a test, but I did want to show you that you can move it around. I like that this has a show center point, so that's where the center of the picture is going to be. All right, continue preview. Now quit. I think it looks good, so let's go next. So now it's sending it from the phone to the laser engraver. Of course, now my material is wrong. It says stainless steel. I click on here, and now I'm going to go and try to find where it says wood. It says wood, and now I'm going to hit confirm. All these are preset for me. Let's hit start. Now, remember, I have the laser protector right here, but I'm also going to be wearing these glasses. Let's hit start. And yes. Watch that laser engraving in action. What I like is as this is laser engraving, I do have the fan on here on the laser cover, so it's drawing out any kind of smoke right out of there, so that's kind of cool. Check that out, how cool. So tell me, what are your thoughts of this laser engraver? Something you're interested in, not so much? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. I've been testing it out using the battery pack that comes with the laser packer too. And I will say it's doing a pretty good job, right? I've gone through a few laser engraving um, projects and I still have four out of four dots here on the battery. So it appears to last a pretty long time. I like the added ability to have this battery. I should say that the battery does not have pastures charging, at least what I've been able to check out. So you are not able to have it plugged in while this is charging and use it, right? So you can plug it in and charge it and then, or use it. What's also neat is just having the laser pecker two plugged into the battery pack also powers the other USB ports and the base. So you don't have to plug everything into the battery. Now we're gonna take a look at the electric roller and the electric roller is so cool and there's so much packed into it. But in this video, we are gonna look at laser engraving on a tumbler using electric roller, but that's not all it has to offer. And so I'm gonna release a subsequent video going into full detail about this part of the laser packer too, but I couldn't leave you hanging and not put some of it in this video. Let's get right into laser engraving on a tumbler. A couple things that I've already done is I've marked up where I want to start the printing of the cup. I have this line as my halfway point so this line will be the bottom line for most of my letters, and this line will be the, where I'm gonna start because I do have a lowercase letter. This line I have is where I want to start my printing, so it's gonna go this way. I have a rubber band on here, and the reason we have that is so when it's on the roller wheel, it can actually spin around, it has something to grip on. If we take a look at the app, you can see that I have my name on there. It is upside down and backwards, and the reason is it's because the way I want it to print, I have to have it that way. I'm doing 100 millimeters by 26.14 millimeters, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start the preview by clicking this button down here. In the start to preview, it's gonna show me, you can see that blue line right there. For you, it's blue. For me, it's orange-ish because I am wearing these goggles, but I'm, sh I'm wanting to line up where my print will start. I have the rubber band making sure it's gonna go around here on and connect it to the roller wheels, but also not making contact with the blue line because you don't want the laser to zap it. If we hit um, scroll preview on the app, it, you can see that this is now scrolling around showing you where the print area will be. It stops, goes back. Now we're back at the beginning, so I'm gonna pause that scroll. I do wanna show where the center point is. I don't know if you can see it. Let's bring that camera closer. You see that dot right there on the mug? That is where the center is. Now that we're all lined up, let's quit our preview. 
We are on 1K. We're going to send the text now to the laser pecker 2. It's been sent. You can see that right now we are on stainless steel, 100%, 100%. Let's hit start. We are going to hit continue. I should say, yes, I am wearing my goggles. Also, I'm in a well-ventilated room with windows open and fans drawing out any kind of smell or smoke. We are secure, and let's go. We're going to come back to this when it is finished. The precision of the laser engraving is pretty impressive and sweet to even look at. As you can see, the laser is going left to right at the same time the electric roller wheels are spinning the tumbler, making your final product. A little over nine minutes and we are done. Well, sort of. Now I have to go and scrub this. I typically use some soap and a magic eraser and this will come up clean. And now we have it all cleaned up. Doesn't that look sweet? You may have noticed that I have my laser engraver plugged into a portable power bank. And the reason I have that is because I had one too many of my projects fail just based on power outages. It is really frustrating, especially since some of them got to the very end, maybe a few seconds left, power went out and they were ruined. So I just decided to use my power bank because this has passed through charging. So it charges and works at the same time. Definitely something I would recommend doing if you're planning on laser engraving. Use a battery backup as your power source. In this video, we are taking a look at the Laser Pecker 2. It's an at-home laser engraver, and this, of course, was the deluxe version. So what did I think of it? First things first, let's talk about that price point. If you got the base version, it's right around $1,000, which in my opinion, man, does that sound like a lot of money? But this thing packs a punch, and it does a whole lot. Like I said, I upgraded to the deluxe version. This one is right about $1,350. In my opinion, if you're going to get this product, go for the Deluxe because you get the battery and the electric roller, and those two add-ons make the original laser engraver extra awesome. I wish I say that it was completely perfect the entire time, but it wasn't. I've actually laser engraved about 30 different tumblers, and out of those 30, I had three that completely messed up at no fault of my own. I'm actually not sure what happened. The picture on the final product just shifted and didn't line up. Of course, they had to be discarded. Whenever an error happened, what I would do is I would shut it down, reboot the whole system and start it up, and then it seemed to work fine again. There is a little bit of trial and error, right? When you're utilizing it, because sometimes it's confusing when I'm gonna laser engrave something. Is it gonna be left, right, up, right? So what I would do typically is I would get a scrap piece of wood and do a quick practice run just to make sure it was going the direction that I wanted to, and then I can put the actual product that I was going to laser engrave on the unit. During the time that I was actually utilizing this laser engraver, I've laser engraved on plastic, on leather, on slate, definitely on steel, and of course, wood. And it does a really good job on all those different surfaces. I say the biggest thing is you gotta make sure you protect your eyes by wearing those goggles or having the laser cover shield on. Also, making sure you're in a well-ventilated area because some of the laser engraving stuff can absolutely stink. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I wanted to give you a close-up of some of the other things that I engraved. This is just an old wallet that I have that, of course, I put my face on it. And then there's a coaster. That one makes me look like I'm an old Santa Claus. And, of course, you saw that I laser engraved the Steamboat Willie right here. I do think it's cool that you can grab almost any file off the internet, throw it onto the app, and laser engrave it. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Laser Pecker 2. And you know what? I love creating things. And not long ago, I reviewed the toy box and it's a 3D printer supposedly meant for kids. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link that right up here. And I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you right here. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.